John here, all miniatures great and small, and today we're looking at Pacific Rim Extinction, the miniatures game. This time we're looking at Guardian Bravo, Jaeger expansion. So, gotta say, I love the names of the Jaegers. That, uh, all of the Jaegers, they just have cool names that, uh, that just is awesome to me. I, I love that. Alright, this guy is one of the designs from the Pacific Rim sequel, uh, Pacific Rim Uprising. Or something like that. Um, he is an interesting color scheme with some cool uh, two-tone. Checking out the back, we have contents. A Guardian Bravo Jaeger model, a Conpod, six action cards, three Jaeger pilot cards, three upgrade cards, one charge counter, and one ammo counter. Guardian Bravo, the defiant defender. Guardian Bravo has arrived. Pack with the latest J-Tech upgrades. Guardian Bravo uses the arc whip to ensnare oncoming kaiju and bring them down. All right, well, that's pretty dramatic. Let's check it out and see if this guy lives up to the blurb on the back of his box. Okay. We've got our card. We've got... I guess they didn't do this in wave one because I remember one of my models was loose in the package when it came. It wasn't damaged or anything, but it was loose. There we go. Sorry, Guardian Bravo and the cards. All right, so let's look at him. So we're talking about poses in our uh, Cherno Alpha review. This guy is in a superhero pose. That's pretty cool. Very uh, Iron Man armor-esque, isn't it? But great detail. Paint is really nice on this guy. I'm really uh, impressed. And all these Mark VI Jaegers are kind of, um, you know, kind of, I don't say generic, but they're, you could tell that their lineage comes from Gypsy Danger and Striker Eureka. Which makes sense because those were two of the most uh, effective Jaegers in the first movie that in future generations they would copy the, the best parts but overall really nice model really impressed okay let's take a look at the card you've got a speed of three a skill of two four attack three defense and it costs six points uh, it's got four charge and three ammo You can also take four damage. Okay. So while not particularly heavily armored, only a three, it can take a beating, which is interesting. All right, we have the, the little counter. Let's look at our upgrade cards. We have. Supercharged. This Jaeger starts the game with a full charge. The ELEC 16 Arc Whip, Guardian Bravo only. If you roll two or more triggers on an attack with the Graphene Arc Whip action card, your target loses two rage. Hmm, so you can use this as a uh, rage depriving weapon. Improved Burst Foils, Guardian Bravo only. After you have activated the Burst Foils card, you may spend one charge to activate it again, paying all costs. So we'll have to check out what the Burst Foil card does to let us know if that sounds good or not. So let's jump to the cards next, shall we? Let's start with Burst Foils. Okay. So this is cost one charge and pivot. 
You may move up to four hexes in any direction maintaining your facing. So that's very maneuverable. And then if you have improved burst foils, you can spend a charge to do it again. So you'd have to have three charges because it costs one charge. Then you'd spend a charge to activate it again. And then you have to pay all costs, which I think would be paying one more. But that would let you, in essence, move up to eight hexes in any direction while uh, maintaining your facing. That's pretty impressive. All right, graphine, graphene arc whip. Attack is short range. This attack has minus two power unless the target is adjacent. If you roll one or more triggers, you may pivot your target one hex. So you can use that whip, I guess, to tangle them up and turn them around. Anti-kaiju missiles. Well, this is a, a weapon uh, introduced by Striker Eureka. So let's see what it says here. Cost one ammo. It's a ranged attack. If you roll one or more triggers in this attack, you may spend one charge to gain plus one success per trigger rolled. If attacking at long range, this attack is at minus two skill. Very cool. Power surge is pretty standard for everybody. Gain full charge or run. Deep drifting. That's pretty much standard for everybody as well. Tactical action. So there you go. Those are the cards. Okay. Then we have Ilya Zaslavsky, Cadet. Shuresh Karana, also a cadet. And then you've got Mateo Garcia, a one point ranger. Very cool. So those two again are from that movie. They're two cadets from that movie. And he is, looks like a generic guy because he's just got that um, kind of cartoon face, not a actor mugshot. Um, and again, to point this out, you, uh, you pay six points to get them into a game. And when you buy them and you add your upgrade or you add your pilots, you pay for the pilot. So each one of these guys is zero. So running these guys here, you're still only spending six points on this particular Jaeger. There are much better pilots out there that can increase the cost of your Jaeger at the benefit of um, skill. So for example, um, you, you, this guy has a skill rating of two, that's a blue thing. For every um, connection that matches, you add one skill to your, your uh, Jaeger. So here only the A's match. So you see the A connects to the A. The D doesn't connect to the C though. So that's only one match. So this tr duo here would add plus one skill. If you had two Jaeger pilots that matched like all three, you would have plus three skill. And skill is really good because it adds to your dice pool. You know, it adds to your attack or your defense. So it's interesting how they did that, and I, I like it. Even though I'm not a big fan of that second movie because they decided to focus on kids instead of the veteran Jaeger pilots uh, and kill off Mako. <laughs> anyway, uh, I should just do a separate video where I rant about the second movie versus the first one. The uh, cadets, um, I think, are, are portrayed correctly in the game. So if you're going to take cheap cadets, at least these aren't, you know, they, at least they didn't make the cadets awesome. These guys are crappy pilots, and you, they they cost accordingly, which I like, and I appreciate that as a game design, and I recognize that as a game design choice that is very clever. So for the game designers out there, um, well done. I, I like that that mechanic. So there you go, guys. There is our Guardian Bravo model. Very cool model interesting stats i don't know what to make of this guy at first is he is he tanky uh is he maneuverable is he assault is he a support mech i think he could be any of those so it'll be interesting to play him um so i'm looking forward to seeing how that goes so there you go guys there's a look at the guardian bravo expansion for pacific rim extinction 
I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do consider giving us a like and subscribe. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. You can also check us out on Facebook and on Instagram at All Miniatures Great and Small. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below about this guy, about my continuing rage about those movies. Um, I'd, I'd like to hear what you guys think. As always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.